Now we need to add a single digit number to a four digit number. First, we have 6098 plus five. Well, if we add two, that will take us to 6100 because we know 98 plus two is 100. But that's adding two and we want to add five, so we need to add three more. And that gives us our answer, 6103. Now, 5,636 plus 8. Well, we know our number bonds to 10, so we know that if we add 4, that will take us to 5,640. And adding 4 when we want to add 8 means that we need to add another 4 to give us our answer, 5,644. Now notice, if you know that 36 plus 8 is 44, you know 5,636 plus 8 is 5,644. Now, 2,994 plus 9. Well, adding 6 will take us to 3,000, because 4 plus 6 is 10, but we already have 9 tens in our number, and nine hundreds, so it's the thousands digit that needs to change as well. So that's adding six, and if we want to add nine, we need to add three more to give us 3,003 as our answer. And now 3,993 plus seven. That gives us 4,000, because three plus seven is 10, but in our number, we already have nine tens and nine hundreds, so the thousands digit needs to change as well. Now let's take a closer look at these questions. So first, we had 6,098 plus 5, and we can show what's happening with base 10 blocks. What you need to remember is that when we get 10 ones, we can exchange those for one ten. When we have 10 tens, we can exchange those for 100. So starting with 6,098, we can add 1, 2, then exchange, then add 3, 4, 5, and you can see that we now have, because we've exchanged, 6,100, no tens, and 3 ones. Or, showing place value counters instead, we start with 6,098, we can add 1, 2, exchange, exchange again, then add 3, 4, 5, to give us 6,103. Our next question was 5,636, which we can see here, so we can add 1, 2, 3, 4, exchange, then add 5, 6, 7, 8, and that gives us 5,644 as our answer. Or using place value counters, we can add 1, 2, 3, 4, exchange, then add 5, 6, 7, 8, and we get 5,644. Then we had 2,994 plus 9. We can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exchange, exchange again. And now, because we've got 10 hundreds, we can exchange again, exchange those for 1,000. And then we just have 3 more ones to add to give us 3,003. Or using place value counters, we start with 2,994. We can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exchange, exchange again. And because we've now got 10 hundreds, exchange again to make 1 extra thousand. So we've added 6 to make 3,000. So if we just add 3 more ones, that gives us 3,003. Then our last question, we had 3,993. 
we were adding seven. And when we do that, if we add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we get 4,000. Now that doesn't look like 4,000 at the moment because we haven't exchanged, but we do now have 10 ones. So we can exchange those for one 10. Now, because we have 10 tens, we can exchange those for 100. And finally, because we've got 10 hundreds, we can exchange those for 1,000 to give us 4,000s altogether. Or if we show place value counters, starting with 3,993, we can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to give us 4,000. Again, that's 4,000 because we can exchange 10 ones for 110, 10 tens for 100, and 10 hundreds for one more thousand. And that gives us 4,000s altogether.